It comes in a basically hollow tube and strikes the surface of that mirror, which is curved inward like a spoon. We call that a concave curve. And by virtue of that curvature and that reflective surface, light rays will also converge to a focus. Well, because that design uses mirrors that reflect light, we simply call them reflector telescopes. Here's sunlight reflected off of the moon, traveling all the way back to the Earth, right through the slit opening of our dome of our observatory at the speed of light. You know the speed of light is the fastest thing we know of? It's 186,000 miles per second. And if we go metric, it's even worse, a bigger number. But what does it mean to go 186,000 miles per second? It means we can go around the Earth not once or twice, but seven and a half times in one second. The speed of light will take us from the Earth to the moon and back round trip in less than three seconds. How many would like to visit the moon in 1.3 seconds? That's the speed of light. And at that enormous speed, how far will we travel in an entire year? Well, that's a light year defined. We can easily calculate it knowing its speed. We can multiply that large number of times as seconds, minutes, hours, and days in a year. What do you get after all that math besides a possible headache? Well, a very large number. It's just under 6 trillion miles in one light year. And I'm not talking about the deficit, which is over double that and growing, right? <laughs> 6 trillion miles in a light year, that's an awful big measuring stick. But yes, we do have a bigger one than that we use in astrophysics. I'm going to introduce it to you in just a moment, even name it for you. But before we do, let's take, uh, take a moment to talk about the moon. You know, the moon orbits the Earth in one move. That's where we got the word month from, actually. It's called one synodic month for the moon to go around the Earth, 29 and a half days in its orbital period. And as it does so, it doesn't trace out a circular path, but more of a flattened circle. We call it an ellipse. Well, with that shaped orbit, it's easy to see why the moon would be closer to the Earth at some points than it is at others. Those closer points we call perigee. When a perigeal moon aligns with a full moon phase, the moon will appear a bit larger and brighter than average in the sky. We call it a super full moon.